All right, guys, welcome back to another MLB 9 innings 22 video. And in this one, we are finally going to be getting the Team Vintage Sig Jerry, the starting pitcher we got back in December, a diamond. So we're going to be using the GI we got from the regular season open offseason event. And then also in this one, we're going to be upgrading and training some players with some cards we got from the last pack opening. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so to start this one, we're going to be attempting to upgrade some players. So let's see if we can get any successes today. We have Calera, Hernandez, and then also Pollock few cards we can use to try and upgrade today. So let's go ahead and attempt this with Caleric first. We got a gold. Please, do you want to get to 18 today? Let's see, come on. And he does, so Caleric can get to 18. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way this started off. We got Hernandez here. Is the silver gonna work and are we gonna finally get him to 16? And that works as well, so that, I'll take it. I'll take it, two successes. And then let's see with Pollock. I believe we have two cards. We have a bronze right here. I doubt the bronze works. Yeah, so that didn't work, but I believe we do have a gold one as well, a Diamondbacks Pollock. I believe, yes, we do. So let's go ahead and try this, please. You want to get the 16 as well, join them. And Pollock does not want to get upgraded today. So two out of the four attempts worked, and I'll take it. So we can upgrade Caleric, and we can also do Hernandez. So let's go ahead and get straight into the training session. So first, we're going to start with the Hernandez. We're going to try and get him to level 16. And this was his train so far. It's not great. We already have 16 to the right, but he's on the bench right now. So it's really not a player to try and level reset ticket and everything. So we're going to just finish this train off, see how long this takes. I'll show you guys the first train 10 times. And we got a, that was a good train on the first one. Plus one to power, plus two to I and back to back. So we literally, the first two tries attempting on a level 14 car diamond are successful. I don't think that's ever happened to me before to me. That is absolutely insane. It, first two tries successful, not one unsuccessful train that the second one wasn't great we got one to speed and field and i think one to eye and then we got one to power plus two to eye so not a great train but we didn't have to waste a lot of points so i'm not going to complain thanks for making my life easy kike i appreciate it so let's go ahead and get into the next one all righty so i hope caleric is the same exact way we'll see though we'll see he's level 16 we're going to try and so with this car we're going to get him to level 17 this train we only have six of stamina which is really what i look for and a card is maximum to six. So we have one more level before we can use amp tickets. With the train I got in this card and his base, he's a better relief pitcher that's out there. We're probably gonna finish this card off with amp tickets. We have a good train. We have 23 location and velo already. We only have six of stamina. So we're gonna try and just do one level. I'm gonna train this up until we get to level 17 and then we'll leave it there. Once we get to 20, is that's when we'll go ahead and uh, we'll use amp tickets. And so literally not a single failure on training today. We're done at 17 on this card, we're waiting. But we got plus two to stamina, so that really kind of aggravates me. We had it at six, even if it was just plus one, seven, one of okay. But now that we got to eight, that kind of aggravates me. But it's still a good train. It's not the worst. We have 24 to a location and velo combined, so we can still finish with the amp tickets. It's not the best train. It's not the worst, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, hey, not a single failure in this training video so far, this part of the training video. And I, I just, I, I can't believe that. That's just absolutely incredible to me. All right, so now that those training sessions are done, it is finally time to GI the Team Vintage Sig that we got. It's been a little while. I've been waiting for this off-season event to give us this GI. We finally got it. But first, since he's a silver, we got to use the intermediate grade increase ticket to get him to gold, then from gold to diamond. Don't GI a card that is silver with a normal grade increase ticket. Don't GI that because then it could go to gold. Make sure your card is gold before you use the GI because it's not guaranteed that you go from silver to diamond. It's guaranteed to go from gold to diamond. So let's go ahead and do this first and let's find him. I believe he's all the way back here. There he is and here we go making him a gold and then next up he's gonna be a diamond. So here we go, okay. Not too excited for this one, we're just getting him a gold, but I'll take it, there he is. Look at him, looking good, looking good. Now let's go ahead and use the great increase ticket. So here we go, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this, three, two, one. All right, here we go. This is probably my third favorite animation behind the black diamond and also the sig change ticket one. And there he is as a diamond and the GI was to 68. I try to make sure signature cards at least have 70 or higher. So I think we have a few grade increase reset tickets. We're gonna do grade increase reset ticket, ticket to try and get the GI above 70. Okay, so we got five great increase reset tickets. We've been holding on to these, waiting for a player that we could use it on, and this is the perfect candidate right here. 68 is not terrible, but like I said, being a signature, I want to have them above 70. So let's go ahead and try this first one. It could go down. It could go down, guys. And it looks like it's going to go up, though. How, how far is it going to go up? Please don't be just one. And it went to 71. 
I think we'll stop there. I feel like if I keep going any further, it's just going to bring it down a lot more, and then we're going to be wasting them and trying to get back to 70. So now that he's past 70 and he's at 71, I'm going to leave it there right now. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I leave it here or try and go higher? But right now, I think this is this is a good spot. I don't I don't want to risk it going back down. So I'll take it. I'll take it. That's what it looks like in terms of the GI distribution and basic stats and also the development that we got. So now that he's diamond and we have a good GI on him, we're going to go ahead and finish off the train with amp tickets. So I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and finished the Jerry train to level 20. I used some amp tickets and stuff, and I'm not going to show you guys that, though, because I messed up. I made some mistakes, and uh, it's pretty painful. I'm not not perfect, and I'm still learning, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and explain this to you guys. We went ahead, and this is what we finished the train off with amp tickets. We got 14 to location, 15 to velo, only 2 to stamina, and then 13 to both fastball and break. So that means velo would have been number 1. Location would have been number two, and then I was trying to get break number three. And with I did an Excel sheet to figure out what's the max I can get to location and VLO. This was it, and uh, VLO was still would have been able to be the number one. Thing is, I did lie to you guys. I, I did use more GI reset tickets. As you can see, it's 67 now, and I wasted those. I was trying to get max GI because, as you can see, um, 14 to fastball on the GI and 13 to break. When this card has max GI at level at 75. Fastball and break are the same. So I tried to do that because I was one point short for the finesse pitcher bonus with this train, the best train I could get in terms of location and velo. I was one point short. short. So if I got them even, it would have been 15. And uh, that's why I did that. So I wasted those I shouldn't have. I know, Jfish, that was a dumb decision. What an idiot! And also, I figured out that if... The development grade increase and basic stats for both fastball and break are exactly the same. It goes to the left side, fastball was informed afterwards. So I didn't know that and I'm, I am I learned that today. I, I wasn't sure how that worked and I, I risked it for the biscuit and now with this train, I'm probably gonna have to go back and redo it. Uh, I wanted to make it work with plus two stamina, a little high to fastball and break and uh, now with them being even, that train, I'm not going to be able to get the finesse pitcher bonus now. It's going to go to fastball from what I know and what I was told. So it's kind of sucks. It's painful. Like I know I, I feel I feel stupid. Oh, what a loser. But uh, like I said, I'm still learning and I've never ran into that into that situation before. So, um, yeah, yeah, I I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So I decided to explain that to you guys. I didn't want to show you guys the pain that I was going through once I realized it. Um, just figure out I just explained it to you guys so so before we use skill change tickets on Jerry we are going to open his second skill storage slot and see if we can get anything so here we go 500 stars and no nothing so we will go ahead and use skill change tickets on him but we do have a premium skill change ticket that we will use on Ryu as well this is his second slot right here this is what we're using this is his second slot we wasted so many premium skill change tickets and normal skill change tickets on this card but we got one so we can still technically get a legend skill today Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and just use this premium skill change ticket and try and get a legend skill on Ryu again. I doubt it. We only got one, but might as well try in the backup slot and see. You never know. So three, two, one. I'm having nightmares and flashbacks, but let's see. Let's just see here. And nothing. Nothing really good. Oh, finesse pitcher. We got finesse pitcher and giant crusher, which is, I guess, finesse pitcher. That's what we got, which would be better than what we got right now on him. I, I don't know. That's still not great. Still no legend skill. That's still not a great set, but at least it's finesse pitcher. So I I don't know. This card is just an absolute pain in the butt. All right. So hopefully Jerry doesn't take as long to get at least a decent set. Let's see if we can get finesse pitcher on him. Um, this set is not going to cut it. So let's go ahead and see how long this takes. And we got finesse pitcher and nothing else. Let's go. That's all right. So we're down to last skill change ticket, and here we go. Not even a single gold skill. I, I seriously don't know if I can take this anymore. This is this is awful. I can't get anything on Ryu. I can't get anything on Jerry. I'm actually like really, really triggered right now because I can't even throw him into the rotation with those crappy skills. I mean, both sets don't even, I don't even think the other set has a gold either. This is just absolute crap. I, I'm just, I'm really, I'm just so aggravated right now. I <sighs> breathe, breathe. I'm so done. I'm so done right now. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I, I mean, the past two weeks, it's been fun. We got Ryu to Black Diamond, and we got Jerry finally to Diamond with the GI from the off-season event. 
but the skill tr- the skills in terms of wasting how many skill change tickets we've had which is over 50 now and almost 20 premium skill change tickets combined between the two and not a single good set we don't even have a gold set on jerry right now i i just i i just need to calm down and hope for, that we can get something good here soon with some when we get some more skill change tickets it's just it's aggravating it's just aggravating to say the least so i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you guys did go ahead and leave like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time